Hey guys, I'm Alex and this is your Friday on RGC. Right now I'm just doing a vlog video with my camera because it's quarter past one in the morning and I'm just kind of tired and I don't feel like sitting down and making a proper video. I'm just going to do a one take vlog hopefully or just edit once or twice. But today's topic or this week's topic is gay marriage or marriage equality. And my view on, is on it that everyone should be allowed to get married to whoever they want. Um, even if it's not through um, a religious wedding, I think that they should still be allowed to have all the benefits of marriage, like have the same status legally, even though they don't get to have the big ceremony under the church, under the eyes of the church. Because it's okay if your if your religion doesn't believe in homosexual relationships or any anything other than heterosexual relationships, but you shouldn't deprive other people of the same rights and the same like protection under the law and the same allowances like being able to see your your sick spouse in the in the hospital if they're terminally ill or something like that so and that's my first point that I think that even though you might not get married under the eyes of the church I still think that under the legal under the eyes of the government you should still be equal my second point is that who I love and who I marry or choose to spend the rest of my life with has no effect on you. I mean, around the world right now there's people in uh, polygamous relationships and all sorts of other relationships with all kinds of people just somewhere else in the world and it's not affecting me. I mean, someone in China only being allowed to have one kid or, I don't know, marrying someone that was set up for them like you know from a, a family that was pre-arranged that has no effect on me so why should I care you know it's, it's not you know damaging any sort of basic fundamental human right so uh, you know it's not really any of my business how they choose to live their lives my third point is that marriage as an institution kind of began with ownership it was a way of a man being able to secure his own family line knowing that no other man could sleep with his wife and kind of claiming her for himself so an institution or a ritual that's based on those kinds of roots i just don't see how someone you know obviously the definition of marriage and the way it's brought about and you know done and what it means in nowadays society is different to when it first came in you know came into place so i don't see why some people are so stuck in their belief that marriage is this is it and that's how it should be it's, you know left alone and it can cannot be changed when what we know today is marriage is already different to the fundamental idea of marriage or where it came from so i just don't see how they could be such hypocrites or maybe they don't even know this kind of thing and they're just ignorant to these kinds of topics and information and they're just fighting against the cause that they don't even know that they don't even know how to defend their own point of view. Um, I don't really have much else to say. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, if you guys like this video, which I hope you did, give it a thumbs up or if, express your own views on uh, marriage equality and any kind of relevant topic down below in the comment section. And maybe we could, we could have a discussion about it or just see what kinds of opinions you guys have. So. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of our videos uh, right now we are looking for more people to join our collab because uh, the people that we had um, aren't able to do it at the moment so if you are interested then just go see Tristan's video he um, I'm gonna put the link up here uh, he already made a video as to the qualify uh, the criteria that you need to audition and stuff so just go check his um, video and submit on audition if you want to I'll see you guys next Friday goodbye